Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. No contribution with this video. You know, we all suffer because of societal narcissism. We all suffer because when incompetence, incompetent sociopaths gain, gain command or gain charge of anything, and, you know, you see it, you see it a lot in politics, you see it in your personal life, you see it at your job, you know, these people who, who gain favor within governments and within countries, these vampires who usually ride the coattails of the workers and then absorb them and then suck them dry and then move on and get themselves promoted. All the while, even though they suck up all the fame and they, and they suck up all all the adulation. They don't actually suck up any of the knowledge of the of the coattails they're riding. See, they know how to they know how to vamp. They know how to vamp on the credit and the rewards. But they don't actually know how to vamp and by vamp I mean be a vampire on the actual knowledge and know how you might pick up a few buzzwords here and there okay much like the guy charlene worked for at the claims agency you know another another quote unquote tech expert that knew a couple tech buzzwords and understood nothing about how to build a database system and was winging it because the other guy is in charge another boomer in charge was wowed by a couple of tech words. So now with this pandemic, this is where we are. These these societal vampires, these vampires who who thrive under societal narcissism are now being exposed because now things need to be actually done. Things, decisions, decisions need to be made where you need a deep knowledge and understanding of the issues. And we're seeing these people being exposed. We're seeing these people being exposed for the incompetent vampires they truly are and have always been. You know, the example I'm living with and we're living with and many people are living with in Florida, in Florida right now is the state unemployment system. Now, Charlene's last day of work was St. Patrick's Day. So now you're going on a full month that she's been out of work. Supposedly the waiting week was, was, was supposed to be abolished. All of that nonsense. She claimed, she claimed two weeks ago, put in her hours, put in everything. They said it was still pending. It might take some time for, you know, for the review. That's it. That's as far as she got after claiming two weeks ago. Since that time, there is no getting on the on the unemployment system. There is no claiming for further weeks. There has been no unemployment payouts. Even though they're say even though we're saying you're supposed to be getting six hundred dollars from the federal government and then your unemployment on top of that, which is garbage in Florida. That's why, because it's only two hundred two seventy five a week in Florida unemployment it's a joke it's a joke so not only is she not getting the 600 from the federal government not even getting the 275 a week from florida nothing nothing so yesterday was her day to claim she can't get on they take the site down at midnight so if you're thinking well then just go on try to go on and off times middle of the night she's tried when the sites should be, when you would think there'd be the slowest traffic from like midnight to 6 a.m., they've been taking the site offline for maintenance. And then it comes back on again, and nobody can use it. And nobody can use it. It's been a joke. So I've always had good results by calling the, the governor hot, the Florida governor hotline, and talking to somebody. Because it, it, it they, they, they believe in Florida, I don't know how it is in other states, in Florida they pay attention. If you call the governor's office, they pay attention, they take your name and they will get back to you. 
I mean, that's one of the things in Florida that's very good. So I called and I'm like, look, what's going on with the unemployment? And the guy's like, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I know. Here's what's going on. He goes, last night around midnight, they fired the unemployment director for Florida for incompetence. He doesn't know what... And, you know, he didn't know what he was doing. Apparently, he was lying about things, you know, inflating what he, his knowledge. You know, sound familiar? Sound familiar? So, he's, so don't worry, he's been fired. And I, that's great, he's been fired. He's been fired, great. He got his, you know, the narc got his. He got exposed. He got exposed to the world for being an incompetent idiot. But at the end of the day, we still suffer. We all still suffer because of this. But we have been trained for decades, for decades, you know, since the baby boomers to accept this. They've been moving us towards this acceptance of all this incompetence and all this control now since the 60s. The same people that stole your ideas at your job and stole your credit and 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 steal your juice and steal your and steal your thunder at work. These are the people. These are these these are your societal vampires. And all their good is is sucking up good at is sucking up the credit and a few buzzwords. But never but never act the actual knowledge. Never the actual knowledge. And when push comes to shove, God forbid, when some of these get into position, some of these people make it to positions of real power, we see what happens. When you, someone you really need them to have a knowledge of their job and you need them for answers, they don't have any because they don't even understand what they've been spouting for years and years and years. And who suffers in the end of it all? We all suffer. All of us. God is it is it is just just disgusting how we got here. It is disgusting. I like the governor here. I like DeSantis. I'm a big fan, and I don't blame him. Like he had no like. How is he supposed to know if 22 million people in the you know get fired? However many it is in Florida. I think it's like four million in Florida in a week, overwhelming the city. Like he has no idea that how his how his unemployment director is going to be able to handle that and the systems in play. He has no idea. But Jesus, this is why I talk about societal narcissism. This is why I talk about calling out these type of people because at the end of the day, we all suffer. We all suffer because of these people, because of these vampires, these coattail riders that, that, that gain power, whether it's in your personal life or it's in government or politics, the same deal. We all suffer. So let me know what you think in the comments section below, everybody. I am out of stories, so anything with contribution will be pretty much immediate. If you want to set up a Skype or a phone call, please get in contact with me. We'll work something out. Um, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away. And believe me, YouTube and Google will make that happen sooner than later. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.